This is brought to you by the Praetorian on both YouTube and Facebook. Astronomical object. An astronomical object or celestial object is a naturally occurring physical entity, association, or structure that exists in the observable universe. In astronomy, the terms object and body are often used interchangeably. However, an astronomical body or celestial body is a single, tightly bound, contiguous entity, while an astronomical or celestial object is a complex, less cohesively bound structure, which may consist of multiple bodies or even other objects with substructures. Examples of astronomical objects include planetary systems, star clusters, nebulae, and galaxies, while asteroids, moons, planets, and stars are astronomical bodies. A comet may be identified as both body and object. It is a body when referring to the frozen nucleus of ice and dust, and an object when describing the entire comet with its diffuse coma and tail. Galaxy and larger. The universe can be viewed as having a hierarchical structure. At the largest scales, the fundamental component of assembly is the galaxy. Galaxies are organized into groups and clusters, often within larger superclusters, that are strung along great filaments between nearly empty voids, forming a web that spans the observable universe. The universe has a variety of morphologies, with irregular, elliptical, and disk-like shapes, depending on their formation and evolutionary histories including interaction with other galaxies, which may lead to a merger. Disk galaxies encompass lenticular and spiral galaxies with features, such as spiral arms and a distinct halo. At the core, most galaxies have a supermassive black hole, which may result in an active galactic nucleus. Galaxies can also have satellites in the form of dwarf galaxies and globular clusters. Within a galaxy, the constituents of a galaxy are formed out of gaseous matter that hierarchically assembles through gravitational self-attraction. At this level, the resulting fundamental components are the stars, which are typically assembled in clusters from the various condensing nebulae. The great variety of stellar forms are determined almost entirely by the mass, composition, and evolutionary state of these stars. Stars may be found in multi-star systems that orbit about each other in a hierarchical organization. A planetary system and various minor objects such as asteroids, comets, and debris can form in a hierarchical process of accretion from the protoplanetary disks that surround newly formed stars. The various distinctive types of stars are shown by the Hertzsprung, Russell diagram, H, R diagram, a plot of absolute stellar luminosity versus surface temperature. 
Each star follows an evolutionary track across this diagram. If this track takes the star through a region containing an intrinsic variable type, then its physical properties can cause it to become a variable star. An example of this is the instability strip, a region of the HR diagram that includes delta scuti, RR Lyrae and Cepheid variables. Depending on the initial mass of the star, and the presence or absence of a companion, a star may spend the last part of its life as a compact object, either a white dwarf, neutron star, or black hole. to you by the Praetorian on both YouTube and Facebook. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.